Hi, how's everyone doing tonight? I hope you're doing well. I'm just gonna light a candle. I started to reach, realize it as I was starting, so I was like, you know, let's just do it. So, tonight's topic, because it's nighttime over here, maybe like 9, 9, 8.30 maybe, I don't know, not very late. Your options are simple. <laughs> so it's going to be who um, who from your past is, who's showing up from your past, like who's coming back from your past, and what do they want? Okay. So this is a really strange deck of cards I got from the dollar store today. I opened them just to see what they were like, and I was like, well, I can use that because there's no suit. You know, see how it's like King of Diamonds here? None of that. It doesn't matter what you get. The six of peace. That's all you get. Or the or the nine of aliens. So it's like, I don't know. It's whatever you want it to be. So I'm going with the image. So the king of poop. Or the king of bullshit. Mm -hmm. The king of peace. The king of aliens. And the king of sloths. <laughs> so we'll start with pile one. The king of poop. I'm not going to constantly say the S word. I'm like such a teacher. Okay, so. Okay, well, I don't want this deck first. Whoa, 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 cowboy. I'm going with this one. So we're kind of trying to see who are they and what do they want. This can also work, obviously, for people that are, already have the person pop up in their life and you just want to know what they want. So take wherever you lie. Hmm. Okay, so the king of poop's going to tell you that they've been healing and that they've been soul searching, you know, and finding themselves. They've been looking deep inside. Okay, they feel like they've been, they're going to tell you, like, you know, that they've been acting up in bad ways. I use, you know, snake behavior. I'm going to admit to it. But when you say they've been praying, you know, getting close to religion, maybe something like this, but they're still blocked regardless of what they say. It's like they just, maybe they think they are, or maybe they're lying. I don't know yet, but they're not really that well. Like, I don't know. Like, major blockage. I'll show you. Oh, well, there we go. I knew there was one more pop that was turned and I just took that dead end. Empty room. They're tired of being alone. Am I balancing this up right? Yeah. They're tired of being alone. You know, that they're, they're, they're like, uh, let me shade thoughts inside my head. It's like, okay, I keep pushing the run into you. Okay, so this person wants to bump into you for sure. So, um, because they're, yeah. They're going to be like, you told me we could always work it out. You told me you'd always be there. And we're going to try to play it, play it good. Um, I think it's BS, not like necess I don't know yet whether it's because they know it's BS and they just want you back. I'm thinking it's, they know it's BS. But I'm also thinking that they might not know, but it's because of that huge fucking mountain, okay? That mountain says, says blockage, blocked, uh -uh. not moving, dead end, you see? So the bottom of the deck is the shaman. Yeah, they're going to want you to extend your hand back out. Oh, God, but they're poisonous. I wouldn't mess with it. Mm -mm. They're toxic. This is like, looks like a coral snake. Not really. It's not the same patterns. But it's still a red snake. Okay. Makes me think of the coral snake. Coral snakes are very poisonous and bad. They're terrible. They're terrible. They're so pretty, though. So this person may be very pretty, but they're terrible. Okay. And they're coming back just to be terrible. Nothing special. See if I can I just, like, kind of give you any more info. Because we never know. Maybe you got a lot of people coming back. Oh, I probably flip it. I prefer it that way. Now, now you're gonna you're not going to you're gonna put your hand up to it. Almost like talk to the hand. I'm not gonna talk to this person. 
Maybe they won't get the chance to say this, but this is what, mm -hmm. this is what they want to say. They come back and they don't say it. Yeah, yeah, they think that she got away from them. Oh, God, they were the mole, huh? Ugh. Yuck. Yeah, an immature person. Very immature to you. And they're very immature still. They just want you back, from what I can tell. So I still don't know if it's because it's true. Like, if they feel like they've changed. Because I don't like the bad mouth people, you know what I'm saying? They might think they changed, and they just didn't. So we know they haven't. I think they can see, though. That's the thing. They're looking at it. I feel like they looked at themselves like they did. But I feel like that, that mountain, they saw that mountain, and they were like, nope, too hard to climb. This is someone that's a friend, maybe. Well, they started as a friend, but they're going to come back very friendly. They might even bring you flowers. Oh, God. That's good. So, yeah. <laughs> they're going to claim that they've changed. They're a new man, new woman. Okay. New. They're going to be like, it's all, I'm, I'm, I'm a reborn. Oh, my gosh. It looks like they're reborn. Oh, God. There's a spider creeping up the wall over there. I cleaned this film. They used to have a tarp. I took the tarp off because it was like, why, why have it? I thought it was probably damaged. It's not damaged. It's prettier without it. Uh -oh. Lost control. Ooh. Oh, my. So that tells me. Yeah, nice. So that tells me, basically, uh, this person loses control. This person has a temper issue, and they might cause you to behave that way. In my head, in reverse, under nice. So they've been thinking a lot about you. They're going to try to act like they haven't, and you haven't probably been thinking about them at all. But yes, this is, sorry, Ellen Walker lost control. So it's like, uh, they're going to sing you a pity song, pity story, you know, say the world's smallest violin. Who cares? No, oh, wait, there's a flower in there by accident. My tiger lily. Okay. I'm going with my cards next. That's to write them down. And I brought a pen. <laughs> I know. I'm incredible. It's amazing. Nikki. I'm going to write a pen. Mm. That's nothing from here. I'm trying to think. Maybe there's something else to say. Probably. They feel scared and alone without you. You make them feel very comfortable and cozy, you know? You're like home to them. That's probably why they don't, they want to probably change them. But I have a feeling that mountain means they can't, even if they want to. Hard to explain that. I'm not, because it's still just a feeling, so I'm not going to dig into that. Oh, well, we got a lot. I'll take them because it took so frigging long. Ugh. Earth, okay? I see the element of earth for grounding. Okay. Yeah, you just want to get, a, you got away from this person, you broke up with this person, you moved out from this person, like they might have even been just a roommate, they could even be a parent, and you moved out of your parents' home, so my hands are cheap. To be anything like this, you left a scene from somebody, okay, because this isn't a, yeah, you had lots of self-confidence, it took a lot of confidence to do what you did, and you're very balanced, okay, the earth, earth energy is probably the you. Safe, happy, okay. You're protected during these times, okay? Like, I don't know what you're doing, where you're at, but you're, you're, you're safe and happy during the travels, okay? And you're very lucky. You have very luck, luck about you, okay? So what they're saying... From this is that they're gonna they're going to boast your they're gonna try to come in and boost your confidence and be like oh my god you're amazing you're this you're that you're so balanced and I'm such a wreck and 
you know, you're my rock, <laughs> you know, and I, I can't, I miss you so much. All I want for you to do is be, you know, I just hope you're happy and safe. But, you know, they're not, they're not going to try to dent the issue. They're going to, but they're going to try to make you want them. I don't think they're going to ask. They're going to try to be just friendly and try to show you how awesome they are now, like how amazing they are in hopes, not like in like a, you know, like it mean, you know, type of way, more like a, hey, look how much I've changed, don't you want to be with me again, you know, they're going to flex on you a bit, yes, flex, okay, they're going to try to, they may have been going to the gym or something, working out, but they're going to try to show you that they that they got this, that they're, they're you know, they're in control, <laughs> so it's XL, extra large, dead end, like, come on, it's lots of, oh god, no, yeah, it's a big mess with that person, from what I can see. Mars energy. They might have argued with you a lot. Lots of fire. Okay, they could be a water sign, Cancer. <laughs> he might just say that they're Cancerous. Okay, they got something's wrong with their feet. They got hurt feet, something with the left foot, maybe. They may come towards you next week. <laughs> the rain makes them miss you. And if it's been raining, oh, God, you're like, I don't want to be with them forever. Maybe never. You might be someone that doesn't say never. You know, like, I never say never. But you're like, fuck, forever. I will forever, never, ever. That's good. Because I really don't think that person's changing. So they're going to, if they used to drink, they're going to say they quit drinking. Okay. But it's a lie. Look at the hands in reverse. It makes me think, you know, when you hide your hands and you cross your fingers because you let me do a fib. They're going to say they did it all for you, that you caused all of this change. And you may have. They may be trying, like I said. But it may literally be something in them that they cannot change. They can only get so good. You know, like, not that there's a cap on anyone. I don't like to put caps on people, but sometimes there is. Like, it's, it is what it is. Okay, I have, I have, I have my own versions of handicaps. Okay, they um, hmm. they miss hearing your name. They miss saying it, I guess. They miss talking to you. Yeah, they're gonna. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So the whole friend card. Mm -mm. It's not true. It's not true. It's with intent to get with you. Nothing else. They do not want to be your friend. So if you friend zones this person, you can expect them to become just as nasty as they were when you left them. Eventually, because they're not trying to be your friend. They don't want to be your friend. Okay, not at all. That's why they got the friend card up there with the flowers. It's BS, okay? BS. BS. Okay. Person may be, like, corrupted. Something's corrupted then. Okay, so. <laughs> what else would they like to say? What else are they going to say? My deck's upside down. So, yeah, they're going to come, they're going to talk to you straight up. They're not going to beat around the bush. They're going to be like, I imagine it like, oh, hey, it's so-and-so. My God, I'm so glad I ran into you. Uh, blah, 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 and vomits all this great stuff and boasts you for it, you know. The, the What is this? This looks like the chariot. What number is it? Seven? Justice? That's the justice card. It is the justice card. Yeah, you're going to have justice over this. You're going to see it for exactly what it is. And I have a feeling that that is going to bring you some type of personal justice. Like maybe you're going to be, you're just probably going to be very happy to see that. And you may be torn with the decision to be their friend. But I'm, my, my cards are saying you should not do that. And I would, I would just not bother with that because I really do think that that's probably the only reason they want to talk to you. Okay. Yeah, the answers you need are coming. So they're coming. And they're, uh, oh yeah, and if you're saying that's impossible, there's no way they're coming to me. They say, believe in the impossible. It's a once in a blue moon. Isn't there a blue moon this month? Something like this. What is that itching my back? So yeah, this is, this is something, that, and this is a blue moon too. So I don't know when the blue moon is, but you know what I mean. It's a rare occasion. So next to rare occasion that happens, it's probably when this person is going to be coming. Or maybe that just recently happened. This is when they popped up. Whatever. They think they're going to try to, they're going to talk to you about twin flames. And they're like, 
I know what a twin flame is. You got, you're my twin. This is why we have, this is why we collide, you know? I don't think this person is your twin. Not at all. We got 5%. Oh, no. We're going to run out, aren't we? Hey, turn the brightness down. That'll help. Okay. So, let me see. Shit. I think I'm pretty much done then. I only pulled out a bunch of cards. So, I'll take one more of these. And one more. I'll just take one more card and it'll be these. Hmm. He's got his eye on you. He thinks he's like, you know, the king of pinnacles right now. And I think that he's going to try to be like, look at my money, look at me. You know? Interesting. King of poop. <laughs> he's the king of BS. That's funny. The whole scene is BS. I should have brought a charger. So even that, oh, there is an outlet. <laughs> yeah, fire ants. It's bullshit. Starfish. <laughs> it's like Patrick. Okay, perhaps I just miss your touch. Okay. But, um, yeah, they're gonna act like you're like, you know, you're the center of their universe, okay? And that may be true, but. The reasons you left are still there, just so you know. Let me see. I'm running out of time here. My iPad's going to cut off. Yeah, they're going to try to come at you. Very balanced. They're, they're going to try to manipulate you. They're going to try to pull every trick out. Mm-hmm. And they got the Ten of Pentacles at the bottom. So I said they're going to act like you're that one last piece to them, like him, the Nine of Pentacles. He's been watching you. You're amazing. And I'm amazing now, too. And all I'm missing to be complete, because I've got all my ducks in a row now, all I'm missing is that one pinnacle. You know, you, my one pinnacle, my ace of pinnacles, to make my ten of pinnacles. Oh, you know, you're my world. It's not true. The star in reverse, starfish, it's, you're, you're not the star. They're, they're the star, I guess. <laughs> So let's see. Yeah, the Four of Cups. They're gonna think that they're gonna think that they have you so fooled. Interesting. They think that they're gonna this is gonna work. Like this is definitely gonna work. They must really think that they've changed. That's all. But it's probably because they haven't I don't know. Don't know why they haven't changed. Or if they have. Well no, I know they haven't. Deep down inside, they have not. Okay, so that's all I got. I hope you enjoyed. I'm going on to option number two now. Please have to get shuffled. I don't think I'm going to be able to post this video because of how long that took with my battery. We'll see. I don't want to kill my battery though, so. I wonder, I bet I can edit and add videos, so maybe I'll try that. I hate that, though. Oh, gooey. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, man, I got all these cards. Mm -hmm. I had a charger. <laughs> oh, but I do got a plug right there. I'm with the cards there.
I'm so bothered about this battery. I guess I can just do two options at least. I mean, I moved as fast as I could. I don't have to regret my speed at least. Okay. Oof, that was loud. Okay, what do we got? Option number two, king of peace. Mm -hmm. and the king of peace, what does the king of peace come to say? What is it that he wants? Which type do I want first? Mm -hmm. This one. Okay. So, option two, what is your king of peace? Whoops, what do they want to say? What are they coming back for? When, why, who, what, where? Okay. <laughs> so, they started dating someone new, a young woman. And <laughs> it was it was a fling and now they're super sad about it and they're regretting the decision they're like uh so they're probably gonna be like trying to explain to you about who that girl was or you know who that person is if they were cheating not cheating that they had a fling with whatever right because we don't know yeah no they <laughs> That person was a karmic. Okay, so they left. They they took off with a karmic. It crushed them. <laughs> They're like, I gotta rethink this whole life thing. What did I do wrong? Oh, it's the king of peace to it. I get him. It might be a water sign. And um, yeah, that person was a was a uh, karmic to them. So they really came and delivered some karmic. <laughs> Karmic payout for that. That's interesting. All these are no, they're not all in reverse. <laughs> he thought that they, you know, the world. They realized that that person was not who they. No, that person completely messed their head up. Okay, and <laughs> they didn't never have sex. They never got to even get like. A, all they thought about was trying to just go out and have sex, and they never even got to have sex. So I don't even think they slept with this person. <laughs> they got to you know, they touched them, though. They did some things. They touched. I don't think they got to sleep, though. Three of Cups, third parties. So yeah, this person that they were with, it's in the upright, too, so it's like, this one was in reverse. It's the Nave Chalices. Yeah. I think it was just to make you jealous. Oh, but they see you with someone else. So they may they may have seen you with someone else. Whether you're with someone else or not, they, they think you're dating someone else. And they're pissed. They've been trying to write to you, but they can't think of what to say. They like just don't know what to say. They may have a cat, too. The cat's very cute and playful. And, yeah, this person may work out. Some set buff pecs, but um, yeah, they all they did was kiss and touch, and they might have, you know, had some oral. They mostly just touched, and he thinks about you at night. And when he was touching her, he was thinking about you. I guess he was imagining her. Why well, that makes me think of that song. Oh, I got a full song. I gotta get done with these quick. I need a dragon. Oh my goodness. The black egg. Okay. So they were okay. They were confused. Dragon, huh? Dragon energy. All they okay, whoa, okay, whoa, 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 calm down with that eye. That eye is intense. They watch you a lot. I can't even have that thing looking at me right now. It's pretty intense. So, yeah, they watch you very intensely. They need you, they're codependent. All right, come on. Yeah, they, they definitely touch themselves to you at night, yeah, you make them, whew, you set them on fire. Can I just get one that isn't so sloppy? Definitely so very sloppy. 
any of those, so I'll be kiss her. Be kind. In reverse. They were not kind to you. Okay. They think that you're abandoning them if you don't talk to them. Well, that's stupid. They want to treat you like a queen. They think that you're they think that they're your king or vice versa. You know, they think that you're divine counter partners and they're ready to put you up on your throne. But you know, they realize that you're their world. And it's in reverse because you're not with them. Mm -hmm. And they they expect you to, to be kind and at least hear them out because you're probably very kind. Okay. What is this card? Bad. Like a bat out of hell. But yeah, they had, okay, they had some, what was I was going to say? Not guidance, not misguided. Oh yeah, misguided. There you go. They were misguided. They were not thinking with their intuition. They were probably just going, I don't know. They were gonna, I don't know. We don't know this part. But they want to let you know that it was a fling. And that they've been broken hearted since they last seen you. And when, because they saw you with someone and they were like, no. Or they just think that you're with somebody and they were like, no. Oh my God, no. So. They realized that they weren't really that kind to you, that you were very, very nice to them and they shouldn't have did any of that to you. Oh, well, that's very nice, man. You know, that you are a king or a queen, you know? And you didn't deserve that. And like I said, they were imagining you the whole time. Whenever they tried to date other women, they, uh, I guess it was in the dark because I needed to get the dev in the dark card. So that, yeah, they were probably in the dark and they were picturing you. That makes me think of that song, Belly, Downtown. It's basically what he's talking about. He does, but this person doesn't seem like, well, there was some devil energy, so maybe, well, he, <laughs> it's the sexy kind of devil energy. Not the one that we find sexy necessarily, but the one that has to do with sex. You're the ultimate prize. They could see a family with you. They know that they ruined everything. And they want to take you into the woods. Oh, they think you're their destiny. They think that you're fated, that you belong together. Oh, they, 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 we belong together. Okay, they may call you late at night to say this, or maybe that's when they want to. The flame is still lit. They can't stop thinking about you. Yeah. Okay. Oh gosh. Okay. Yeah. The foot. Okay. Oh, that reminds me. Where's my card? There. I must hurry. I'm sure there's only like three percent left. Maybe even less. This person might really like music. Maybe you guys like the same music. Oh, they also might talk to you through music. Hold up. If I, they want to. Yeah, they want to marry. Oh my God, they're in love with you. They say that they're in love with you. Oh my God, they say it's hard to take shots. It's very tough to take a shower because they think of you, someone from the past. So this is definitely like a, someone from like within the year, within, yeah, within one year. Nothing, nothing really, like a near past, not anything past that. They want to put a ring on it. They're bad with showing their emotions. Oh, well, they had some, they were lacking confidence. Music. Neptune, oh, puppy love. Okay, so they they they've always had a huge crush on you. The moment they met you, I had puppy love. They wanted to take they want to take you out on a dinner date though. I think now because they're actually in they realize they're in love with you. They said that they thought it was so complicated to be with you. And they realize it's not complicated at all. They're complicated. That's funny. And Mars in reverse. So they said they didn't really act like a man. I said they didn't act like a, like how a man should. Well, that's very good of them. I mean, they are the king of peace after all. So I think they just want to come and make peace with you. And they want to take you out on a dinner date. They're going to admit that they, they ruined everything, that you're their destiny, that you're like a golden prize. They definitely thought you were way too sexy for them. They were like, I think you smashed their confidence with your own sexy. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Good for you, I guess. I don't know. And, um, yeah, that's pretty interesting. I would like to try to squeeze one more, and I don't think I can. What are we at? Come on, come on, tell me. 
What are we looking at? That doesn't tell me anything. Oh, nothing? No, it's not telling me anything. Oh well, I don't think I'm gonna go all the way through. So, because then it's gonna cry, it's gonna die on me. So I'm gonna try to do these two after I go get a charger. Which I'll go do now. Yes, I'll be back. Hello, it's a new angle. <laughs> so this is for pile three. Sorry, you got your own video of pile three and four because I didn't have enough battery and I had to go get a charger. And then the plug is over there. So camera's over there now. Okay, so pile three, king of aliens, the mega mind. Where did I put them? Okay, so you have what it takes. Okay, so this king of air, king of brains, is going to come in and they want to tell you that they really like your transformation, that they see how much you've grown and that you have what it takes, I guess, to date them. That they think you're a leader. Okay. And okay. That's what it takes. I'm not sure why I think to date them. I wonder what made me think that. So that's only for a small few of you. Most of you is going to maybe be someone different. Maybe a family member. You know, like, oh, look how much you've grown type of thing. If it's someone you haven't seen in a very long time, you almost don't, wow, you're like, they're going to be like, I remember you. Well, well maybe it's someone from, from a long time ago when you were kids. They're going to be like, I remember you. Okay, they're going to be coming out of a relationship. Oh my, you're going to think they're very, very sexy. Mercury. Makes sense. There's going to be a lot of communications going on. Something about tarot. The beeps. Okay. They got a reading on you. They got a reading done on you. And they've been snooping on you. And perhaps they heard you broke up from with somebody. That's not, you know, that might be them too. They might be newly single, but they hear that you're newly single. Okay, <laughs> I want you to come in. Okay, I'm gonna keep that one covered. Oh wow. Okay, there's more. Yeah, they really like you. Oh, they say you're the sunshine. Okay, so <laughs> the Pluto card. You make them think dirty, dirty thoughts. Just so grab my ass when we kiss. And slow grind me. Okay. <laughs> but the communications that they received about you, or perhaps you've heard something about them. Whoever is coming out of the relationship, if it's both of you, then perhaps you're mirroring each other, but I really can't pin who it is. But someone's coming out of a relationship, and somebody got the news through the tarot readings that there might have been abuse. So maybe that's why they left the other person. They, if it is you, they want to show you sunshine and they want to show you that you're unforgettable. Oh, so that's really sweet. I guess this isn't only for a few of you. They say it's a bit, yeah, the, the relationship was complicated. So it may not have been like, you know, abuse, abuse, but it was, it was not good. It was a shitty relationship. Gemini more air energy so they may be a gemini okay might have something with gemini you are my sunshine oh no you make me happy the skies are gray where the hell did the car where did the card go what is this 
this is <gasps> this is trickery. That card's gone. No. Uh, let's get up. Oh, I'm sitting on it. I had a feeling I was sitting on it. Okay. It slid right under my ass. Sitting on okay, they were sitting on you. Okay, so apparently Okay. This may be someone in your neighborhood, but Foxy. Hmm, I think you're a foxy lady. Interesting. But also, they want to run into you. Or this is going to happen when, when you're at the park. You're going to run into this person, maybe. But something with a, a community outing. So it could be like to the mall, you know, to the park. Something like this. And they're going to see you. And they're going to take the opportunity to talk to you. They have to, you make their confidence, you know, you kind of, you kind of make them nervous. So they're going to have to pump themselves up to walk over there, but they're going to, they're going to see you, <laughs> they're going to scope you out first, or maybe this is what happened. Interesting. So because I have so many dirty thoughts, I can't stop thinking about you, actually. They must have a very sexy Pluto, Pluto somewhere, very, maybe a Scorpio Pluto, uh, or some, I don't know. Oh my, so yeah, okay. So, okay, yeah, they release the burdens. So they, goodness, that card is always so intense. It's like, they're really getting down. In Funky Town, so yeah, when, if you do run into this person in a the park, they're going, they, they, whew, that's what they're thinking. They're like, whoo, that's their, that's what's on their mind. I don't know if they'll actually tell you that you're so sexy, I want to do you right here, but, but they say that the last person that you were with, so I'm guessing it's more so you, they said that, they say basically you didn't belong with him, you belonged with you didn't belong with that person. You belonged with me. That's their message, not with me. I'm out of this. I'm staying out of this. This is nothing to do with me. I'm not that dude. <laughs> I'm not dude in the background. Like, that's mine. But that's how he felt. He felt like you belonged with him. Okay, maybe they did think you were twins. Maybe this person thinks you're the twin flame. I'm, like, looking off over there. Like it's, I don't even know where the camera is anymore. I'm not used to this. And they've been manifesting you. So it's like, I think they see you as like the girl of their dreams, so to speak, or the boy of their dreams, you know, the, you are the dream match. And they've always, okay, so now that you're available, and now that you're not with that guy, you know, it always makes you think of a, you know, just a bad boyfriend. There's no love in that relationship. He has no love in his in his life. He's just doing the deed. So anyways, warrior. So, okay. That's interesting. I think this means they want to fight for you to love them. They see you as the mother of their children, and they see them as the father of the children. They want to be a father or a mother, whoever, they're, whoever this is. I feel like I'm talking to a woman, or at least a feminine, someone that's interested in masculine, because this is a masculine talking. So I'm saying, basically, they'd make a great father, and you'd make a great mother. And <laughs> see, the vessel's like also about just the person in general, not so much the body. But they're saying that you have good jeans. <laughs> like maybe in a literal sense, that you're wearing some really fly jeans that day, but they're saying that you're like the moon to their sun. You're the day and the night. Yeah, yeah. They're like, you know what I mean? Like you guys are counter partners, so to speak. And they think that you have... Good genes. They want to make a baby with you. 
they because of your sex appeal, they're like super interested in doing the act of making a baby. But they're also very interested in actually making a baby, a golden child, so to speak. How cute. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the seal of approval. That's why I said you have what it takes. You got potential in their eyes. So this person, okay, this person's been looking for this person. Okay, so this person has been trying to manifest their twin, so to speak, a soulmate. You know, their better half, the the person, the mother of their children. You know, they've been looking for this. And they think that they found it in you. And they want to come and tell you that. Like, a lot. We have so much air. Okay, empty room. Yeah, they, they are, they're alone. They're single. And they live alone. Not sure if that matters to you. I'm not sure, well, I'm not sure if that helps you anywhere. So if this person was ever married, I think they got cheated on. So maybe that's why they. I don't know. Maybe that's why they are coming out of a relationship. Oh, I'll start yawning. That's not cool. Wow, you see too much. You see all my clutter. <laughs> my pen, my random card, and my lighter. Goodness. Okay. Come on. Healing, sexual, healing, babe. The sun again, yeah, no, okay. This person may be a Leo, or you may be, but the <laughs> saw the sun, the moon, the mountains, and the, they want to they wanna make love to you. I think it was like part the heavens, okay. Golden energy of the sun brings fame and fortune. Interesting. True healing of the mind, body, and soul. So they're saying that basically they they want to come in and give you sexual healing. Oh my! So they want to make a golden child with <laughs> and do you? Oh, so gently, a slow grind me. Okay, that makes more sense. Sunshine again. This person really oh, I'm the golden egg. Okay, they think that you got golden eggs. That's stupid. That is so silly to me. Beaver, you'd make a great home. They would. They're saying that they could build a home. Basically, they would build a home to be with you. So they're saying that they would hold the hold, hold down the fort, and they would build. They would be an amazing husband and father. Excuse me. Gosh, I'm so tired all of a sudden. That's interesting. Because I'm not even tired. This person might be a very sleepy type person. We're not all. Oh, sloth is next. Maybe their energy not now. But yes, they think that your eggs are golden. I like that. That's funny. You've got golden eggs. And they want to they wanna have babies with your eggs. Oh. What they got? Golden swimmers? Like, I don't know. King of air. <laughs> yeah, they're going to be like, hey, so I heard you're not with so and so anymore. Are you, like, you seeing anybody? It's basically what that, <laughs> what's next card is like, what you have to do next? Are you dating? Are you just chilling? Are you, are you ever going to get married again? Question mark. <laughs> I think they really want to know what your ideas of marriage are and babies. I have a feeling they want that. and But maybe you don't. I don't know. Maybe they don't know. That's what I'm saying. Whoever this is, I don't think you ever had the chance to talk such things with them. But there's someone from your community, I believe. So if, if that could be any community. It could be a real life com community. It could be an online community. Oh my god. Oh. I'm not taking any of that. It's way too many. There's like 10 cards. And then I'm yawning. So, no. I must pep up. Because I'm not even tired. I've been sleeping so much. I'm just all. 
feeling confident because I got, <laughs> got my battery bloated. I'm like, yeah, I could take my time with these shuffles. Although I take my time in these, but still, there's no pressure. Oh, I want that one Roman's next. Hi. Like a Cinderella story. Okay, yeah, they, I was going to say a Cinderella story. So they think that whoever you were with, I were a low life. You're like, wait, I am not that. Okay. So they're that dark side. They've seen the dark side of people. And I don't think they're that way. They say low life by the weekend and future. So, like, this is the scene. They saw you like this. Oh, goodness. They didn't see you necessarily, like, they didn't see you as this person, like, as a Cinderella case. They just, they could see that you're extremely hardworking. You may have dressed frumpy. You did all the cooking, all the cleaning, but you were so kind and sweet, like, you know, just like how Cinderella was. And you, whoever you were with was just a low life, you're like a snake in the grass. That's what I heard. Yeah, and something about money. Like, they're like, you don't have to worry about money with me. That's interesting, because I didn't even get a money card. But then that box is sitting there like, I got all the money. I don't need money. past communities too like someone from your past at a community type thing like I said like a school maybe okay <laughs> so the advice real fast that it's not from them is this person's coming <sighs> they're saying to make room oh yeah yeah come on they're saying to make room for this person they say that you need to release something. So maybe you are still dating this person and there's someone standing around waiting. And they're, from what I can see, if they think that you have the golden womb, okay, it's because they got the golden swimmers in their opinion. And I think that that's very confident of them. I don't know. That's very, it's very particular to, 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 to like, okay, have super strong sexual passion for you. And think that you're just an amazing inside and out, basically. And they think that you got great genes. So they just see you as a really good person to, to build a life with. <sighs> so if you're dating somebody, you know, make room. Because the energy is gaining momentum. So these feelings that they have towards you are only just getting stronger. They've been trying to find love, and they've encountered nothing but not love, apparently. That's why I said they've seen the dark side of people. So they've had a lot of rough relationships, maybe, or maybe just one good rough one. But they definitely did it and turned them upside down. But they say that they're abundant, and they got a great life. That's cool, I guess. Now, what was the other one? I was doing these cards. And then I'm done with this. Oops. That was the bottom of the deck. So that's on the count. No. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah. Okay. Well, the journey, they really want to travel to you. That's interesting. Something about school, though. So maybe they want to, they had to leave to go to school somewhere. And when they come back, this is when they see you, when they come back from their school, schooling. Or, my whole deck is reversed. Yeah, no, they, okay. They, while they were gone, if this is someone that you knew recently, like this isn't someone from like way back in the past, they're saying that while they were gone, they haven't really been flaunting or de they haven't been dating. They've been by, by themselves. They've been loyal to 
I guess the, they've been, <laughs> they haven't done the deed with anybody. They want you to know that, well, okay, they think they're waiting for marriage. This person's waiting for marriage, apparently. Or they're just very committed to marriage, and they're just not out dating because they're not, they're not getting laid because they're not dating because anybody that they try to date is, you know, dark side of the moon type stuff. <laughs> it's, you know, wicked in a way. They're not good. They don't work out. This person's real big on communication, so maybe you got to be... I don't know, maybe you have to be able to have a good conversation with them. So it's like, no matter how beautiful they are, they haven't been doing anything like that. They said that they're very prosperous. Ouch. They have a very prosperous uh, lifestyle. Like, I guess they, they live a nice Torian lifestyle. You know, very chill. Not necessarily the good life. Well, it is the good life if it's all stable and cool like the bull, you know. But not necessarily like, well, we did get that one card that talked about something. The fame. Maybe this person has some type of fame. A community, a following, like I was saying. They, and they, uh... Hmm. The sunshine. The golden egg. Yeah, maybe they're trying to build a legacy. And there's someone with a background of some sorts. But either way, you're the one that pluffs the feathers for this person. Make those feathers go up. I have a feeling this person doesn't catch boners for anybody. That's what it is. Male or female. Like, they just don't... Mm, they don't get their rocks off easy. Which is probably why they've been just on a solo journey by themselves. Like celibacy. Okay, so I don't know if they've ever had sex in the past, but they're saying that they have stopped having sex, and they're like, forget it. I mean, they're having sex with themselves, that's for sure. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's so silly. Yeah. Where's the other ones? I think I'm good. <laughs> I don't think I want any more cards. No, not that I'm good, but I think that's the end of the message. But I do want to give you a flower. Fox love. <laughs> confidence. <laughs> so, yeah, they have a strong confidence about them. So they're like, hey, listen, they're like, okay, they want to let you know. It's, they're as sexy as anything. They're very sexy. Okay, and I think that they're trying to say that they're very good in bed. It may be rusty, though, if they haven't been through it. That's my opinion. If you haven't been in the bed, and well, I don't care how good you are, you will be rusty. Okay. But they've been, yeah, they took a solo, celibacy trip, so to speak. They said, fuck that. They stopped dating. And they've been, <laughs> they've been just self-pleasuring, basically. I don't know how often. I don't know. I didn't get the devil card, so perhaps not often communication listen and speak with greater care so yeah that's what it was all their past relationships they could not talk to them like they couldn't i don't know they couldn't have a conversation and it felt like a dead relationship like it's just face with his face it's like yeah they're doing it <laughs> and she's super pretty she's super hot and so is he they're all like super studly right stupid stud muffins but they <laughs> stupid stud muffins but at the end of the day, there was no love. So it was like, eh, I guess this person really wants a baby, but they don't want to just have a baby with anybody. They want to have a baby with you. <laughs> They're like, be my baby daddy and be my baby mama. Either way, that's me saying that. I'm just joking. But yes, they are like, they want to take care of you, so to speak. And this person may cook. This person might be just a real homebody. Like, think of like a Taurus moon. Like, they kind of just sit around... <laughs> so they're not eating all day. <laughs> I birthed the head of the daughter. She's Taurus Moon. She's funny. Yeah, so you like nice coffee. They like nice, soft, cozy things. They like to relax, you know, be cuddly. And they cook. They clean. They do all their business. They're they're saying they're a man. They're they're like a warrior. That's the warrior. And they're foxy. So they may be older. Yeah, they may have gray hair. Might be a silver fox. <laughs> That's funny. But 
And that is something that's silver fox. That's coming through right now. Hardcore, so I'm guessing yes. Okay, so I think they're hiding behind the platonics. They're, they haven't told you these. They kept them quiet. Like, uh, you know, in the dark. But they really want to know what you're going to do next. So whenever you talk to this person, I have a feeling they're not going to tell you all this, but they're going to want to. So they're going to poke and see if they can get conversating with you. And they're going to try to, you know, do this with you. But they may hide behind a bit of a friendship. Like they're going to approach you. Okay, no, they're not going to hide behind a friendship. They're going to approach you friendly and that friendship's part of their love package. So that's why the friendship's not fake. Like with pile one, forget it. That friendship, that, what, there was no friend. There was no love there. Not love. There was no bond there. This person wants a bond. And perhaps if you do, like, if you are friends with them already, like you do socialize with someone, you know who I'm talking about, know that that's what they be thinking about. Oh, my gosh. And they really do think about that last person with a little life. Well, that's interesting. I don't know who that last person was for you. <laughs> I can only assume that they know more. But either way, they can see that you've healed and you've grown. Like you're not, you're not even got any no issue no more for you. Not at all. Wow, these are the two cutest, pinkest cards ever. This person's so crushing on you. Like wow, they oh, they have nothing but like that real wholesome love. I love that. The pinks. Reds is nice, don't get me wrong. Reds is like that, oof, that deep, hot love. But it's also, it could it could burn out. Pink is different. It's like, I don't know, it's adorable. It also thinks it makes people baby girls. So maybe this person really wants to have a little baby girl. Mm-hmm. So if you're feminine, maybe you wish you, were, you want a daughter. And if this is about a masculine, then it's interesting. Maybe they have a daughter, or maybe you have a daughter. Whatever. There's the baby girl on the rise with this golden womb of yours. <laughs> so I'm going to put these away. I hope you enjoyed. And that's it for pile three. Don't mind my burps. Open, open, let me that with you. And I hope you like bourbon too. Out the back. Slots, pile four, or group four, pick four, whatever. Number four, the king of slots. I've been yawning and yawning and yawning in anticipation of this slot. So it tells me there are water signs. (laughs) Just because there's needy. Or maybe they just got some water placements going on. I have no particular order or decks that I'm using. I'm kind of just going with the flow. And if I feel like the message is done and I don't have no other deck to read, I don't do it. So know that not every pile 
has the same decks. Use well, they have basically the same things. Okay, wait there. This is the King of Slavs. What is it? Who are they? What do they want? What do they want to tell you? What are they coming in from the past? What do they got to say? My deck is down. No, it's not. Okay. Well, you're going to be shocked. They're going to shock you. This person's going to shock and all you. Interesting for a small. <laughs> So they pretended to be oh, hold on. I think it's trying to say that old woman lord is <laughs> servant. Okay. So so, if you're dealing with a feminine, this sloth is a feminine, they're not, they don't have money. They lie. Or, okay, well, yeah, they lied about having money. Or they receive money from an old woman. Hmm. That's just a side message. Okay, so... This person treated you like a servant, okay? They were very fake, and something tells me that they come from money. So, like, their family has money, and they, they may have servants, even their servers. Okay, protection from harm when journeying and spirit heavenly assistance from your angels and guides. Okay, so well, this is wishes come true. Rapid achievement of your dreams and wishes. So what is it that they want to tell you? It's almost like spirit stepping in and talking for them right now. They're telling you that this person is basically, I think they're telling you this person's bad news. Okay that you wished for someone and this person is not your wish. Yeah, they're not your storybook, Lord. They're, they may wear red shorts. I don't know what the color like for sure, sure, sure. But there's an old woman in the picture. So they may be married. They might have lied about they might be lying about their status, but um, hmm. so maybe you work for this person. Maybe they were definitely false in their actions and their behaviors. Oh shit. So apparently they were false. False with everything. They had to make a decision. Or you did, Fox. Okay. I'm saying this person is just a, a, a con. A con artist. Don't know who they are to you for sure, sure, sure. But you, you service them somehow. Anchor in reverse. Okay, yeah, no, you got away from that. They're a dead weight. Okay. So yeah, something tells me that this person is yeah the info. Okay, so okay. I tune into this. So this person is pretending to be a lord. You know, they might have a nice car, they might have nice clothes, they might have nice demeanor, whatever, right? But they really receive everything from their family, from their mother, from their legacy, from their trust fund, trust fund baby, maybe, something like this, because that whole facade is fake. 
is BS. You know, without that, they would basically be this, just this peasant, so to speak, a servant, a third party, hospitality. Okay. So. Hmm. Oh, okay. Also, that's for some of you from spirit. I wanted you to know that about this person. Okay. So, it says safe, safe and happy travels from spirit. So, <laughs> maybe spirit sent this person packing. They were an opportunist, dead weight, so to speak. And they saw you as, like, they saw you as naive. This person, but, yeah, this person was a con artist. Interesting, this person is a con. They had said you were going to be astounded. This person was going to shock you. Castle. And then they try to act like they're a priest. They're so insane. They got a nice home, which they probably do. It's probably from their family, though. Which is, you know, that's fine. I think, hold on. Let me see these energies. I really don't like that fox eye in them like that. I don't know. I'm trying to keep reading. Get some more cards. I'm not sure if, because see, Someone lying about their status or boasting it to be something that it isn't is not means to never talk to them. I mean, that doesn't mean that they're a bad person. It means they just got some maybe confidence issues. So I think, hmm, their wishes, rapid achievement of wishes and dreams. Okay. So what is it that they want to tell you? This person sleeps a lot for sure. We've got clouds and that person's got their eyes closed. Okay. Okay, okay. Well, I'm getting another message. It's more so saying that Spirit wants to guide you towards this person. Maybe. Okay. They're going to shock you when they, they're going to tell you. Okay. They're going to tell you. Storm. Storm's brewing. I'm starborn. Okay, so this person. Okay, now I need to calm down. I mean, like, first I had nothing. Now I got everything. Okay, so. This person's a sleeper. Okay? So they, you might have been sleeping on them. They might have been sleeping on you. But they sleep. And they might even sleep literally and dream a lot, too, because we got this card. Just always makes me think of dreams, even though it's not the first one. It doesn't matter. The crossroads card. We also got that star there. So maybe there's something with religion here. We also got the prayer card. So basically, this person either lied and said they were just a regular old not peasant day and night. They think about you day and night. Okay, the storm. Maybe that's what they dream of, because that looks pretty stormy on my way. Interesting. Okay, so let me get focused here. So yeah, they think that you're you're the key. They think that you have all the answers. They think that yeah, you. They think of you. They're on my way on my way to you. Interesting. They wanna see you. Oh, safe, happy travels. So yeah, this person's gonna come and visit you. Oh my god, we got a blast from the past. Uh, duh, I forgot my topic because I've been just, oh my god, this is, this is the most complex one. Either that or I'm just tired. We don't know. It's probably both. But yeah. Okay, so they might be younger than you. You might be younger than them. There's a slight age difference here. There's an age difference. I have no idea how, what the depth is. But basically, they either lied and said that they were just basic, not basic, they didn't, they might have lied and said that they were of like, you know, regular status, oh, I'm getting dizzy, regular status, but they were really from a very elegant, who, strict, okay, religiously bound family, okay, and 
they saw you and I think they wanted to just lock it down. Okay, so they saw you. They thought that they could just maybe have fun and play with you, like a play thing. But spirit put an end to that. They didn't like that treatment towards you. He didn't, I don't even know if that person realized what they were doing, but they were treating you like a, like a toy. And they're, they're the lazy. So yeah, that's, so they either lied and said they have status or they lied and said they didn't have status. This person doesn't have status about them. They lied about it. They're, they're from a, a rich family and they were using you as a plaything. But they, something about virginity. There might be a virgin here with this religion card, yeah. There could be. They said that basically being with you was easy. Talking with you was easy. Being your friend or whatever they were, whatever relationship you had with this person was easy. And they liked easy. But and they wish. You wished for a person, you saw this person as as impossible wish come true. And you thought maybe that was some BS because I guess you guys stopped talking. And yeah, so they saw you and you were just the bee's knees to them. But because they're because they're religious and highly whether <laughs> Whether it's a, whether they have money or legacy or status or whatever they want to label that as, whether they have that or not, they definitely have an a older mother figure in their life that dictates a lot of what they do. They, have, they would have to sneak off to be with you and to see you, but they're afraid to sneak off with you because they worry that they'll fall in love with you. They... They, uh, they see you as like a star to be born. That's a weird one. Is that card? Like, that's a blank card. Like, I guess they see it as like, it's if they were to, yeah, like, they, okay, this person's also very shy. It doesn't come out of their shell much. But you cracked their shell. You made them think and see things that they had never thought of and saw again. Interesting. I don't know why I keep shuffling these. I keep feeling like there's something that's going to fly out. And there you go. Like, okay. Oh, they're a low life. If they, they think that you think they're a low life, they think you're mad at them. They think, they think that you, okay, they're going to think, I mean, when they do this to you, your reaction is going to, you know, you're going to think, well, you're a fucking liar. You're a low life liar. So they're very afraid to tell you. I guess that's why they, they they won't tell you unless it's in person. They want to tell you this in person for sure. Okay. And let's see. They've kept their eye on you. They could see that they... They could see that they had... Like... They were locked in with you. It's like they can't move on. They can't move. They're stuck. They're stuck. Yeah. So I think basically spirit blocked this relationship, this friendship, this anything this was because they were being false to you. And the only thing that I could think of for that would be because you're maybe meant to, to date this person. They might be part of your, you know, your journey. I don't see them as a karmic. Because spirit won't really step in the way and, and block karmics. And let, only you, you see, you block your karmics. Spirit's there to throw the karmic, not throw them at you literally, but they're placed so that you can either be, you know, you kick the, you, you dish, you did, blah, you kick the karmic, or spirit doesn't really come through and kick the karmic. You know, spirit puts it there to, to see if you'll do it, to test you. So that's what makes me think this person is not a karmic. And they're a good manifester. So 
So that's why I think that's the good news, but we're gonna shock you. I have a feeling none of this was interesting. So yeah, they've cried about you. They really like your eyes. Not necessarily the eyeball, although they may like the eyeball, but they really like, um, oh gosh, okay. Yeah, they really just like your eye shape in general, like the actual eye. They like it. <laughs> they like your eyeball, okay? Okay, they say that they're not a player, so don't be fooled by them. Don't be fooled by other players, you know? And don't be fooled by yourself. They want to tell you that there's no one more lovable nor loved than you in their eyes. They really love you. That's really sweet. That's why they want to come to you. I think they are coming to you. Maybe you watch this. I think that's what it's trying to say, that they're on their way towards you. They, they know it's time. So, yeah. So, maybe the, mm -hmm. that's why I said this was a spiritual, this is a spiritual union. You and this person. But there was some falseness in the air when you guys were dating, getting to know each other, just friends, whatever it may be, there was a falseness to it. And I think it was because they just, like I said, they, they're they used to just having playthings, having just people to play with. Like they play with people, not necessarily in a bad way. Like I knew a man who used to use his money just to socialize. So, you know what I mean? People were playing things to him in a way, too. So I think he's so used to just playing around because he, it's, I keep thinking he because he's got, it's a man, but we got the virgin card. Not too many men are virgins. Anymore. Not too many men that are virgins. But, I mean, it exists, maybe. They're going to, oh, wow, they're going to be very open about um, admitting that they were absolutely wrong. They're not going to blame you, ever. Ooh, that's really good qualities. Take, not to take the blame. Jesus, don't take. Don't be a blame taker. <laughs> that's foolish, like this card says. But to be able to take their blame, that's very grown up. In all tests of character. So yeah, maybe they, okay. So maybe that they're, they're like this towards people subconsciously as a test of character to them because they're slowly testing someone to maybe, if, you know, if they lied about being lower class than they are it's or maybe they just there was a falseness to it they might not have lied they just didn't tell you okay that's coming through hard falseness okay meaning it didn't i didn't lie i just faked it they get they they diluted the, the truth okay and they know a lot of people they want to let you know that they know a lot of people and they they're out of all the women they've ever met and all the men that or men that they've met whatever that they, they've never loved anyone more than you. Maybe they sleep around a lot. Oh, no, that's true. We got that flower, that pink flower, man. It's that virgin flower. Okay. It says, in the final analysis, the thing that will strike you the most is not who was right or wrong, strong or weak, wise or foolish. Okay, they say they were very foolish. They were trying to be wise, and they ended up being foolish. But who went to the greater lengths in considering the other person's perspective? So they're hoping you'll see, they're going to explain to you everything. And they're hoping that you'll understand, that you'll be understanding. They're worried it's going to cause a storm. Like they're worried it's going to break any chance of anything. I'm sorry. I have a feeling this person is not in your life necessarily like as a daily person. Or maybe they are. But either way, they, um, they're they afraid that, to tell you this. They're afraid about make, making it clear and less false, basically, because they're worried it's going to just split whatever chances they have with you. But, I, you know, if you're not with the person already, then that's because you're not with them. It's nothing to take from that, right? Maybe they're worried. Maybe they'd rather just be your friend. I don't know. This person doesn't look like they're in contact with you. They they watch you a little. They you know like they they peer on you. It's not spy, but maybe spy. They might be watching you like that. 
when you begin to find love in people and places you haven't found it before, it's always because you've grown. So this person's realizing this. They grew. They haven't talked to you for however long. They spotted you recently or thought of you. Okay? And they want to talk to you about the falseness that was there. They want to clear up their... clear. They want to clear all the air... And they want to tell you that you're their wish come true. Lots of wishes. A lot of people make wishes. Yeah, they said that it's a very complicated situation that they are that they were in. and But they have a full explanation as to why there was falseness. And they're really hoping that, that they could uh, explain this to you in person. That they're sorry that they... Okay, they're sorry that they tested you. But they're very, very foolish for doing it because you, apparently, I guess, you didn't play the game. You didn't even test. Oh, God, they just, they're, yes, okay. They're, they're, when they see you, they're going to burst with, you know, you might not know it, but you will. So, yeah, whatever it is that they want to tell you, whatever clearing of the air they want to do with you, Castle. Yeah, you may have turned your back to this person. Maybe you sniffed out some games that they were playing. <laughs> Starborn, you know, Looks like some little bit of some Aquarius vibes. So yeah, they're saying basically, uh, yeah, I'm saying that you, yeah, they know that you gotta. Not a temper. They thought you to be just this, this fun, silly, fun and fancy free thing, like perfect for toys. You know, like you, they thought you wanted to be a toy. Maybe. Like, I mean, as I'm saying, this person, must, this person must have money. Only people with money treat people that way, in my opinion. And, I mean, maybe they don't. I'm not saying everyone with money treats people like that. I'm just saying it seems to be a common character. It's like, but you know, all people treat people like shit at the end of the day. Because people are shitty. Okay. So, but basically, they saw you as naive and like, like you were down. And apparently, you weren't. They, and it, whatever you did, you closed your back, you closed your eyes to it. Like, you're like, almost like you rolled your eyes. But that made them feel foolish. You made them feel foolish with the way you reacted to their behaviors. And like, they think you're precious. They think you're very rare. Like precious souls. They may, maybe this person wears a lot of jewelry. One more. Oh, got it. Personal issue resolution. A little bit of personal issue reaches resolution. So whatever it was that okay, so something tells me that this person tried their very best. Okay. They treated you like how they treat everybody else that they meet when they meet them. Okay? And they're either down with the games or they're not. And you were someone who wasn't down with the games. Doesn't seem dramatic, not at all. But since you left, it's been a shitstorm, is what they're saying. Because basically, whenever they've had anyone not play the game back, you know, they didn't care. Okay? Because at the end of the day, I guess, I don't know, you, you, had, you had everything that they wanted. And they were, I think they did something to see how you would react. And I believe you reacted in a way that they had never seen anyone else react. And I think that that caused them to realize that, like, they grew love for you because of that behavior. Like, that characteristic of you of being like, mm, I don't know. I don't really get any of the info about what happened. But whatever you did triggered it. And it made them really, like, their love for you really grew. Okay. You're going to have to, okay, it's saying you have to trust. 
It's your, it's your north node. That's what was in the back. So this person, that's why I said, yeah, this person is a soulmate, you know, something like this. And you have a soul contract together, spiritual connection. That's probably why, yeah, you guys were meant to meet. You were meant to trigger that in them. Something with the old woman, a personal issue reaches resolution at home. So perhaps, and like I said, this fox has got his own money. So maybe this person used to rely on their family and meeting you and seeing how independent you were. Maybe you're very independent. I don't know what made me think that. I just kind of cleared it out there. So seeing you and how independent you are made them realize that they were slacking. They were not being a head of a household. They were being... They made them feel young. I guess you made them feel immature. There it is again. This is like the father figure card. Like you woke them up to realizing that they were like not being a man. They were being a little boy, you know, with their mommy. So now they're, they're ready to stand in their power. They want to show you that they've changed. That, you know, they want to show you how much they've grown too. So maybe they've been working on their image since, uh, since you last seen them. They want to show you how pretty they are now. <laughs> okay? Because they just can't get over the fact that you are just unforgettable. They, they, they're in love with you. I don't think they've ever been in love. And now they have. You're like a star in their eyes. Okay? But you're slippery. You got away. Okay? And they, were, they feel so foolish for doing any of the stuff that they did to you. Something tells me that this person, because of their, maybe their home situation, they don't get involved with them and because they got to meet mom and they got to meet mom or dad or, you know what I mean? They got to meet the fam. They got to be a specific way. So they test all their bitches. Wow, that's not nice. You test your bitches. They test all their women. They may be a Leo. They test all their women subconsciously or consciously and every time they tried to test you I guess because maybe you visually hit all the notes so they were like oh wow this person's got potential so to speak I've been getting that a lot lately tonight so they saw it as okay well there's more starfishes so they they saw it as oh wow this person's this person's actually really someone I would want to actually maybe bring home to mom. So then I think that's when they triggered all the, I want to say, self-sabotaging tactics of testing your character. And I have a feeling that you did not get tested through this because it's like, I don't know, I think you're above and beyond any of these tests, which is why they felt foolish. They felt like they were being wise, you know what I mean? Like they thought they were smart, but you made them feel like, you were, they were, they, okay, let me explain that, they thought that they were very wise, and then, and you were not, <laughs> you were like this, like, la, 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 <laughs> and they soon realized that they were very foolish for underestimating you, they underestimated you, and that underestimate, the, you know, I guess everyone else falls short of that, but they saw that as some very powerful shit in you. So they saw, I guess they saw themselves in you. They saw that that's exactly how, they're like, oh, wow, this person has a lot of self-dignity. You know, like you got a lot of integrity. And I guess they were like, wow, that's someone I could bring home to mom. <laughs> but I think that something with religion got in the way. And I think she told them, well, if you want to be with that person, you have to move out. Honestly, I really do think that they said this. And I think that this person moved out. I'm not going to speak for them. It could be a timeline thing, you know, but this is kind of what's playing out. They get kicked out. They, they get told you or them, and they, they have to get kicked out. But there, there's an anchor here. So they may be in a state of freeze and they haven't actually left yet. They're just contemplating their decisions because they're... <laughs> You know, they're living on a prayer. They don't even know if you like them anymore. They haven't talked to you. You know, but they thought they're, they're worried you're going to think they're a low life. You know, and that you're a liar. 
which you think that they're that, that not you, excuse me, that they're a liar and that you think they're a low life and they're like, oh my God, I gotta do all this, you know, and stand up to my family basically and leave and move out and do all this on my own. And I don't even know if this person wants to be with me. This person's gonna call me a liar, a snake, a cheat, you know, I mean a you know, so they sit back like this. Yeah. It's like the strength card right now. They're just sitting there and staring, not hungry, almost longing and th they're thinking. Lots of thinking in that card. They miss you. They really like your character. They liked you a lot. They thought you were very, you were good chaos. Like maybe you're very uh, fun. They think you're very fun. You stir things up and, it, and it's very fun. Oh, that's really sweet. But they're worried that you think that they're nothing but like a, you know, a liar, a cheater, a deceiver. And maybe because of something that happened that made the, the guy stop talking. But they want to come and tell you all of this. This is what they want to tell you, I guess. They want to tell you that, you know, everything I told you, that they love you. Owls. Okay, yeah, they think you're soulmate. This person might also have trouble sleeping. Same, or you do, but I'm speaking for the person right now, so. They say that they, they have trouble sleeping. But... See, with this one, the energy is gaining momentum. That means that if they haven't made the move yet, the break, so to speak, from this other person, they are because they're going to. They're, I think they're just going to realize that. Like I pulled that. The where is it? Oh, I put it away. When I pulled the uh, the elk card. They're going to realize that whether they have that, whether they get you back or not, whether they can convince you or not, whether you'll come and move in so that they won't live in the castle no more because they won't be on mommy's, on mommy's uh, bankroll, so to speak. But they realize that that's, they have to do that anyways to be a man. So to do that to be a man, they're like, you know, I think they're going to come to the resolution that they got to be a man regardless, and they're just going to do that because they. I think you you made them want that. I think you made them want independence. You know, you made you made you know you made them want to grow, okay, and grow up. You made them feel immature and foolish and young. You made them feel like less of a man. Something tells me you're one hell of a woman, <laughs> and you made them feel like they were a little boy. This person might even be older than you, but it is what it is. You know. Behaviors are what they are. Selfish. They, they behaved selfishly with you. And they know this. They want to tell you that, that they were selfish. They want to tell you, okay, this is happening very soon. Not very soon, but soon. Okay. They've been, they took a break from work. They've been taking a break. Yeah, see, they took they're hoping you're taking care in this time since they've last seen you. They want to make sure you're eating, drinking, and sleeping. They really want you to take care of your little heart. Because they have, they, basically, they've been out of work, maybe. I don't know. Something with work yesterday. We got this, someone from the past, last from the past. The Taurus card. So they want, they may be a Taurus. Selfless. I'm going to tell you that you're very selfless and very sweet and that they're ready to be that to you. They want to give you everything of them. They want to give you all of them. Oh, that's really sweet. They want to confess. <laughs> the shower in reverse again. Jeez, man. They think about you in the shower. Okay? They have to take cold showers when they think about you. That's basically what that is. Like, they can't take a shower without thinking about you. <laughs> okay, babies, children, and kids. You may have babies, children, and kids. They might, too. But something tells me that they want it with you. Okay? And it's divine timing. That's why I said spirit stepped in. 
So you're going to meet this person again in divine timing. You know, divinely orchestrated things like this, they're usually not bad, but they're not easy. You know, it involves trust. Like I said, you got to have to trust this. But see, owls, it's plural. It's my card for soulmates. You know, they they've lost. They think that okay. They think that you lost hope and faith in them, and that they're never gonna come back, and that whatever happened is the end of it, right? That you, that they're like, no, this is the bye bye card. They think that you you were like bye bye, bye bye. But then this, but they're like, no, they're coming to say hello and happy. It, it's gonna make them very happy. I think just to just to clear the air with you. And I, I think that they know that divine timing has something to do with it. So they're very happy to know that, like, they just have to keep trying to heal and grow up and, and do their steps towards independence. And that's probably when you're going to see them again. You know? Mm -hmm. They're on their way to you. Interesting. Maybe, they, maybe they're at a distance and they want to move closer towards you. And they're like, yeah, they have to they have to break free from their family to do such things. They have to leave the home, the castle, the castle walls. <laughs> they must go beyond the palace walls. I'm leaving to find love. But you know, no one finds love in the palace. Right? Cyclamen, resignation. Say goodbye to what you no longer need. Okay, so that's what they did. They cut out a lot of things in their life. They realized that they were a big karma bomb. They were circling around in many circles of karma. You gave them this info. You were the key to them seeing this. They couldn't see it. They had their eyes closed. They were so chill. They are so used to just slothing it out and chilling, right, that they didn't even realize that there's just like, you know, they're hopelessly devoted to you. But they're saying to say goodbye to what you no longer need. So if you're dating anyone, they really don't want you to be. They want you to be single. <laughs> it's time to connect with what you believe. Spirituality. African violence. So they're saying, um, yeah, it's a very spiritual connection. And you guys are going to connect finally. They realize that they were doing life they weren't living life, basically. I mean, they were, but they're ready to not be the sloth no more. They're ready to do things. They're so lazy. I guess they're lazy and tired. Okay. Renewal. Time to begin again. Stronger and better, just like this. Okay. They're ready to, they're like, this is like them looking out onto the land, looking at like the three of wands, so to speak, looking off as where do I go from, you know, what do I, where do I want to go? And I think that they want to come towards you. So that's pretty nice. I mean, if you want them, you know, I think this person's really nice, but they think that they just fucked up on you. So that's why it's like when people fuck up with you, you know, ten of swords, oh, they really regret it. They're so sad. They were so blind to your beauty. Well, they saw that you was gorgeous. Okay, very feminine woman. They thought you were very beautiful. They really love your hair. Okay, and they like your boobs. And they say you have a very sexy back. They just like you. They think you're very gorgeous, but they were still blind, even though they know you're super sexy. Like I said, they were blind to what was beyond the sexy. So my guess is maybe they get a lot of sexy women. This person might look good. They're, you know, they're the Lord card after all. It's my little emperor card. But if emperor is with his mom, he's not really an emperor. Yeah, he made them feel like he made them feel like you were such a grown woman and they were such a little boy. Like they wouldn't even know what to do with you in bed. Not that you're someone who's off in bed a lot, but like that's how you made them feel. You may be older than them. They may be younger than you than that, you know. There was an age I spoke of an age difference. Well this ended up being long. What is that? Okay, one more. And then I'm done. I think that's all the cards. I guess that's why this one went in. That's okay. Whoa. Yes, Chariot. And they're still coming. We've come to a decision about you. 
Mm -hmm. They're used to juggling women, but then he got, you made him fall in love. You know, you might have been one of those women on the side. You might not have been. This just could literally represent just histories. But this person on the side here ain't playing them. <laughs> he playing no games. This person's all about the games, you know? And he looks like he's hella confused, you see? So he was juggling. But Cupid's in the background, and Cupid snuck shot him. Yeah, with you. Oh, well, you definitely really think this person is very sexy. <laughs> okay, <laughs> look at her. She's like, oh no, please don't come any closer. My panties will catch fire. <laughs> I don't know why that always made me. But yeah, something about the hair. All these women have such gorgeous hair. Okay. <laughs> it's enough. But yeah, that was the bottom of the deck. Seven of Wands. Yeah, they really they want to give you a massage. This person's touching her back. They have gentle hands. They got like um. What did I call that? Musician's hands, you know? They may play an instrument. They have talented hands. <laughs> so maybe that works well in bed. <laughs> but either way, yeah, they're used to women being completely, like, overly skanky. Sorry, that's the only word I can think of. And or completely, like, damaged and, like, squared you know like squared off and they met you and i think you were a balance of, of them both like you were you had a tame to you you could be wild sexy and free you know and you could also be very quiet well reserved and this is i think what made them fall in love with you yes yeah, so, i mean look at all those roses so this person's done dated around a lot, but I, I mean, I still think that, where is this the one that had the, yeah, this is the one that had the little virgin card there, you know, these are all pink roses or red roses, they're all pink roses, they're not red, so you red is that, mm, pink is like that love, so I think this person just crushes, I'm not a player, I just crush a lot, <laughs> so I'm guessing this person just likes to crush, and be the sloth, and chill at home, and you know, do do all that. But I, yeah, the, they didn't tell you that part about it. They kept all that from you, I believe. And they want to come in and let you know all of that. And that they, yeah, they, they, they've made a decision. They want to come over to you. They have confidence in coming towards you, though, because they, they're the king of pentacles. In their mind, they're like, you know. They're the king of pentacles, so they don't, uh, they're going to come over to you and you're, you're not going to necessarily melt at the knees. That's probably how you make them feel. But um, they definitely want to approach you and they want to, okay, they want to turn the tables. They don't want it to be like, your miss is grown and sexy and they're just a little boy. They want it to be like, look, I might have been a little boy, but I'm actually a I'm actually, man, look at me. I might look like, or maybe they look young and you thought they were young and they didn't have a chance to tell you their age. Something like this. They were like, listen, I might be a, I might look like a boy, but I'm all man, baby. And then they think that that's going to be what wins you over is letting you know that they're a man, that they're not a boy. And, you know, they're, you're not the, you're not, you're not running the show. They are. They're the sexer, they're the sexy sex man, you know? But I have a feeling that you make them melt like butter. So they might think this because they've been in separation and they then built themselves up, but I think that you're gonna be the one that makes them weak. But either way, when you see them, I definitely believe that you have an attraction to them. So I guess you can hear them out. There's no, yeah, they, like I said, they just wanna massage you from what I can tell them, you know, do the synesthes with you. And if they're willing to, to grow up, like if you triggered their grow up instead of a glow up, if you triggered up their grow up. So if you did that and you helped them break some cycles, I mean, they break cycles. It's not like pile one, pile one, they had a, they had a, a blockage. And I don't know if that blockage could ever be removed. This is an anchor. So they're like, they're locked down. They're anchored in the, they're, you know, they're, they're firmly 
in whatever situation they were. And they have to change all that to be with you, I think. But they'll raise that up and they'll do that. They'll move. They'll, you know, take that boat wherever they want to take it, I think. But only once they're done breaking the cycles. Like, cycles have to be broken. That's why spirit stepped in. Because they were like, he's not ready. And there you go. The masculine wasn't ready. Y'all met. Y'all have a soul, a spiritual contract together. But he was not ready. <laughs> but meeting you is probably what was the design to make him ready. Because, you know... Think about it. It's sloth. What's really going to make them step outside that bubble and get uncomfortable? You know what I mean? They don't want to step out of your comfort zone card, the north node. It's their north node to step out of that house or else they'd never leave. Maybe their mom takes really good care of them. Like not even in like, you know, like one of those like baby senses. Like maybe they're just very close family and he takes care of her. You know? Either way, you know, like they want they want you to come they want to be with you and i guess depending on how they say this i they i don't think they're lying you know you got this to fall back on oh, this one ended up being hella long Ugh, fall back okay so that's everything i have for you i hope you enjoyed it and i hope it helped give you some clarity so have a good night bye